Okay, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the March 29th, 2022 um, Hatfield Select Board meeting. As usual, I'll open the meeting by reading our public participation policy. The Hatfield Select Board welcomes everyone to its meetings and all other public meetings of the Town of Hatfield. All regular and special meetings of the boards and committees of the Town of Hatfield shall be open to the public and shall conform to the open meeting law. Executive sessions are closed to the public and will be held only as prescribed by the statutes of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. It is important to recognize that the open meeting law affords the opportunity to listen to the proceedings but not necessarily participate. During meetings of the select board, an attempt will be made to find a balance between hearing from members of the community and conducting the required business of the Hatfield Select Board. Um, we, it doesn't appear we have anybody here from public forum, for public forum. Um, announcements, Brian? I, I have none, no. Thank I guess you. I would just say that Ed is gonna be joining us online. We're going directly into an executive session, so we'll be closing this, op this open session briefly. Ed will join us in the executive session online, and then he'll be online when we return. Yes, okay. Right. Yep. Um, and then we have some minutes to approve. So I will make a motion to approve the minutes of March 22nd, 2022. Second, a motion made and second. Any further discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So as I mentioned, our first order of posted business tonight is an executive session. So I will make a motion to go into executive session and return to open session under Mass General Law, Chapter 30A, Section 21A, Number 2, to conduct strategy sessions in preparation for negotiations with non-union personnel or to conduct collective bargaining sessions or contract negotiations with non-union personnel. Second. Uh, so Moriarty, aye. Zinal, aye. Okay. Okay, so. we will return. All set? Okay, so we're, we are um, done with our executive session. We've um, voted to return to normal open session. Uh, we are going to take our agenda items a little bit out of order tonight out of respect for people's schedules. Um, so we do have the assessors on at 6.30 uh, to talk about their budget. So looks like Mr. Pitch goes okay. in the hot seat over there. All right. Are you ready? Right, let's shoot. We've uh, submitted our fiscal year 2023 department requests. We've actually level funded it from 2022 to 2023 which actually means um, we've actually taken a decrease if there was any type of inflationary events that happened through the course of the year. So we've basically just taken last year's budget, carried it forward for you folks. So barring any unanticipated events that happened through the year, um, we feel that this, this uh, budget will carry us through fine. Thank you. Now, okay. Is this a rebel year? I can never keep one. We're on year three. Yeah, so we're on year three. We have another right. three years. So we got another three years yep. before yep. we have to go through. Doesn't it cost, doesn't it cost us more on yes. years where you have to? Do yes, it, yes, it does. And 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 part of it, part of it is reflected through the um, software vendors and uh, uh, Patriot Properties. Um, currently, we're in the third year of a third-year contract. So what this budget is actually reflecting is um, when, when we go out to bid, we, we try to pick a one- to three-year type contract by law through procurement. Um, we're in the third year of the procurement, so uh, next year we're going to have to go out again. Um, we always use the same vendors because of software proprietary uh, measures and, and the, what would have, we would have to do to change everything, which would be astronomical. Um, so next year you might see a fluctuation in uh, software uh, prices due to inflation. But this year we're able to carry them over from our previous bidding. Mm -hmm. okay. Much appreciated. That's great. Um, on a little different, I, I, I know Marlene has talked to Jenny about this, but any ideas on where new growth is going or not yet? No, we, um, I talked to Mark and um, they'll come out and do permits within probably the next month. And once he gets through the permits, we'll have a better idea of what that is. Mm -hmm. yeah. if, if, it's, if it's any consolation, there will be some. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just to what magnitude, we're, we're not sure. Last year we were, what were we at, 60 or 50 or 60,000 in new growth that 
you guys gave us. So, yeah. mm -hmm. so just try and, 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 you know, for rough estimate, that's what, you know. We'll use that as a placeholder, Marlene, and that's what yeah. and, and you're okay yeah. with yeah. us using that as a placeholder. Yeah, and, and you're talking about new growth, or are you talk now are you, are you, are you, okay. And then you're also gonna wanna know at some point what um, we're, we're gonna wanna set aside for reserve for, uh, and it's probably going to be consistent with what we had in 2022 right. to 20, or 2021, 22, probably be somewhere in the middle there somewhere, right. but it won't be something crazy. Right. Okay. So for FY21, new growth, $62,657. And for FY22, um, $61,604. Right, but overlay, I think we reserved 60-something in 21 and then 70-something in 22 for reserve, even though that might have been our abatement expenses. I think our overlay was a little bit more than that, and I think we're gonna be somewhere in the middle of that just to be on the safe side. Um, we really don't know what type of risk or, or anything that'll get applied to it that just kind of occurs through the year. Right. Um, but as we progress through the year, um, we will look at a total bucket of what we do have in the overlay account. And looking back three to five years, if we don't have any risk associated with it, um, we'll usually relinquish some of that back to the town. And, and just for my refresher, you, you pretty much use the overlay account for abatements and, and, and things of that it's, nature. It's, it's anything within the town that doesn't get covered. Like you're, you're going to come up with a budget that's going to um, be reflective of the amount of taxes we're going to collect. And then there's going to be portions of those taxes that are going to be overestimated that we have to give back. And there might even be some that don't even get paid that we're able to make up that difference so nobody loses a job people can still um, buy paper or buy whatever they need for their departments um, so so some so the of that overlay, though, is just we're, we're budgeting 60 correct 65 right now yeah so they just voted 67 tonight okay so i will change that okay good okay. well i mean uh, thank you i was going to say john or you guys, anybody have any questions on this side of the room? I, I just have a comment. I just want to thank uh, the assessors and Jenny in particular. Um, we got our, our audit a few weeks ago and, um, for the town. And, of course, the financial team has just done a fantastic job, and the assessor's office is part of that. So uh, I didn't know if anybody had caught any of our meetings, but I figured I wanted to publicly thank you. Thank you, you, you guys. And, thank, and you. thank you for that, for Brian. A uh, number of years ago, um, as a town, we, we used to be right within the forefront of our submissions, turning in all our LA forms, getting our tax uh, amounts uh, quantified by the state. And, and then there was some slippage through a couple of years. And now, actually, need to thank you and the finance team for, for basically pulling a lot of things together. Um, getting our accounting back uh, to where it is, which enables us to submit all our LA forms. Um, there's been a tremendous amount of cooperation between uh, Marlene, Assessor, the various departments, the Treasury, the Collection, all of that in, in order to make those entries into the state software and get it submitted, um, where we're now getting right back to the front and we're getting our, our rates certified quickly. Um, so I, I think it's been not only through Jenny, but through um, interdepartmental mm -hmm. oh, cooperation yeah. and collaboration. Yep. So thank all, thank all of you, too. Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's, it's the whole town that benefits from all of that. Yeah, so we really sure. thank you, Jenny, yep. and, and to the board, obviously. Yep. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Great. We well, yeah. thanks for the... Right. Thanks well, thank for you the... very much. I hope thank your you. evening's short. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. Me, too. <laughs> You just jinxed it. Yeah. Thanks, Stan. <laughs> you have to say it. Yeah. Can't be any longer than last week's. <laughs> so are we not doing the accountant tonight? So I will be glad to, to cover the accountant's okay. budget. Um, it's unless you want to. It is pretty straightforward. And we had talked um, at our last meeting, I believe. So we're seeing an increase in the accountant's budget. Is it about $4,000 uh, increase? Um, about five. Uh, yeah, yeah, about 5,000. I'm trying five. to put my oh, hands right. on it. 86. Oh, yeah. um, I didn't bring my good glasses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know why I had it, I had it right. And then there's a, a, a jump up in the software. Good old Vadar. Good old Vadar. Right. But 
some I mean, of this these is, are uh, is to expected. be expected. I mean, because you can't, yeah. is really for the consulting services is really getting their feet yeah. under what we need. And yep. this is probably really more reflective of what they of what what they need to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get the job done. I don't think yeah. anyone in this room has a complaint nope. with no. anything no. that Melanson has done. Yeah. And, you um, know, so, you know, Lori had a prior commitment, um, but, you know, she'll be glad to join a, a future uh, I budget. Have any questions budget. about that? Yeah. I mean, I think th these are just yep. probably the customary, you know, increases and yeah. in things. Mm -hmm. yep. Software never gets cheaper, and, you know, the service they provide to the town is well worth. Yeah. Um, so I don't. I don't think it's necessary for her to come to a future one. I, okay. I personally, I don't know how everyone else. Not feels. for this, Agreed. but probably. Well, Lori, for other things, Lori yeah. Would but would be a big help when we're actually trying to go, go working with the spreadsheet and going through budgets. Uh, I'm oh, yeah. sure, Marlene, you've been working with 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 her a yeah, little I bit. Yeah, I sent on this. this to her last week. Um, and asked her to just you know to go through it, and uh, we haven't touched base yet, um, but we will. Yeah, yeah, but as far as I agree with what you said, Diana, I, I don't think we need her for. The yeah, I mean, for other point. things, yeah. but not not yeah. necessarily to speak to that. OK, and then we're going to postpone the discussion on the treasurer collector budget, correct? Yes, she was not. Sharon was not able to be with us tonight, and we definitely want to have her here to be able to do that. Yeah. OK. All right. So we can go home. Moving right along, are you not going to go through the Warren articles with us? <laughs> Come on, what? Are we going? Do you the have a better offer? <laughs> <laughs> really? I got supper and five and a half grandkids at home. Oh my goodness! Five and a half. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but but hey, I can go through a Warren article. I don't know. Was were we? Well, I guess that wasn't. We're going to blow through most of them because it's the standard. Stuff. Right. No, I, that wasn't listed as part of our discussion with you. No, so and, you, and, and oh, I, was it? Oh. It's, and, it was prior. Oh, prior. Oh, okay. Well, whatever I, think they it's, to I think it's fine. And, and we're not planning on looking at the spreadsheet tonight. Is that correct? No, I wouldn't think so. Yeah. We're going to wait until yeah. Yeah. next yeah. week. And you're right. Some of these I think we can go through pretty quickly. I don't expect any of them to be all that long. So, okay. So let's just do it. So Article 1, of course, is customary just setting the date for town elections. Mm -hmm. Yep. <sighs> okay. And the ballot question for the uh, wastewater plant has been added. Um, if that's right. What so that would be that. Um, on, the, on the ballot, but on it has to be part of ballot. Article 1 to set the ballot. Right. So we had had some discussion a couple, maybe a month ago, about what's going to happen if we start putting numbers to this budget and we find out that we're maybe short in some areas so and we talked about at some point maybe maybe this is not the year but eventually we you know Hatfield may need some sort of uh, override to mm -hmm. take care of a budgetary override not not a debt exclusion right. so I only raise that to say, how soon before town meeting do we have to, if if we decided, how much lead time do we need? I think the questions have to be to the town clerk by April 14th. So two weeks. Oh, yikes. Okay. All right. That's why I bring that up. So just, just something to think about because my rough math in my head is way above what I think, but hopefully I'm wrong. So, okay. But anyway, and just so ta people watch who, who watch, there's two different kinds of overrides. There's debt exclusion, which is basically like a project, like the sewer, and the, and it goes on to the taxes for the li life of the project, and then the taxes are reduced. If you have an override, which is to cover budgetary expenses, it it remains on the tax rate forever. Right. So let's say at 12th. I'm sorry, April 12th, not the 14th. April 12th. Oh boy, that's really so. So you'd have to have the whole budget finalized by then. Well, well that's we, the ballot question. Ballot we, question we would have to, to the town clerk. At that point. And, well, and wouldn't it have to have a number in it? We would have to decide on that. Yeah, we 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 would have. You're right. 
we would have the question on the warrant, but the question would be submitted to the town clerk for the ballot, be printed on the ballot. And why does it have to go so early? I don't, I'm not sure. That if seems that's like really set soon to by, have. I don't know if that's a state regulation. I don't know if it's a state or if it's her, her well, it's request a, right. so that she can get the That's printed. about 21 days, isn't it? Maybe that's the, right? Oh. When, when, I mean, I'm. I know, yeah, right. I can look at the calendar, but. Well, yeah, that's four month, weeks right? before There's the. probably a or thing. Or five but weeks, yeah. The, months before. You know, it, but I think, I, I don't know how quickly the decision can be made to go that route because I think there's a lot of PR that needs to happen. Mm -hmm. If if that is, you know, if, if that's yeah. the route that's decided upon um, so people know exactly what what they're supporting and voting for or against. Um, and as far yeah, as so. I know, Hatfield's never had a budgetary override mm -hmm. that, I, that I remember. So you're right. Which is, which is amazing because it's really hard to live within the confines of two and a half for sure a long, is. long time. Yeah, and, that, and that's really the challenge here is two and a half. And, you know, we've talked about it every year that, you know, the good thing is your tax rate's only going up two and a half percent. But if you're trying to make a budget on that, that doesn't, you know. And continue to provide the services that people expect. So And, and, it, and we're seeing the same thing here that that we're seeing in all businesses. It's costing more for goods and services. It's certainly costing more to, to retain and hold on to people. Um, it's, it's Utility costs, utility, everything yeah. that's going up for it's everybody. And, yeah. and, and something to be proud of is we are the second lowest tax rate in Hampshire County. How, however, <laughs> conversely, Right, that you you have those confines. So we're at thirteen something. I should have asked Jenny, but like thirteen eighty or something. It went down a little bit this year yeah, because because some debt came off the um, the tax rolls. Yeah. But right. So so there's the advantage and the disadvantage of having that low of a tax rate. It, it's great if, for thus paying yeah. paying it when we pay our bills, but it doesn't give you much room to do the things we're talking about, which is the cost of everything has has increased. Mm. Um, right. Not even. I, I mean, certainly much more than two and a half. I mean, do you think the budget would be finalized by then and we'd know? Well, so the, then how do you plug a number I, into the, a... I, I see a couple different options. I mean, you're exactly right. Will it be finalized at that point? Probably not because we're, we're waiting for, what is it, House 1? is probably more indicative of what we're going to get than the governor's budget. And that generally doesn't come out until when, Marlene? The end of the month? Yeah. End of April? Yeah. I was going to say it's, yeah, sometimes. Well, think and it's, it's all, it's subject April. to change right through the beginning right, of July. Right. Through, through, through right. It's, right. And, it does. So yeah. it may be one of those, I mean, you know, it's not beyond the realm of possibility that we, you know, we put a budget together based on what we have. And then, you know, if, if we think we need more, we can decide. We can always hold a, a, a special, a special election. Special. I, we would have to have both a special town meeting and a special election to yep. make that happen. But you know, and maybe miracle. Maybe maybe the budget will not require that. But well, we certainly try to make it not require. Yeah. But okay. Well, that's a good point. So, so sorry. Could you just no, confirm good. with Lydia if that's like a statutory thing or if I it's will. because of ballot printing and whatnot? Mm -hmm. So Article 2, again, something that's just on here, customary boilerplate, that's to allow us to um, accept and expend grants. Um, yep. Article 3, again, customary, that's the entering into the compensating balance agreement or agreements. Um, Stop me if any of the if you have questions or um, Article four is chapter ninety, right? That allows us to accept yes, chapter is. ninety funds. Mm -hmm. Those are the funds that come from the state for us to do our road projects. Yeah. Have, uh, have any I'm sorry. Had I was at a legislative brunch the other day, Farm Bureau and mm -hmm. got to sit with some hear from some of the reps. I'm a little stunned that Chapter 90 is actually lower this mm, year yeah. than it was last year. And I didn't know if you guys had had any contact with anybody, you know, Lindsay or, or Joe. Joe, sorry, my, you know, or 
because it, it's kind of stunning with all this push for road projects and fixing things that now we're actually I wonder getting less if, money. I wonder if it's the reduct the re we're seeing the because remember when no one was driving anywhere gas tax may have not maybe gas tax collection wasn't as high which right. then leads to less money to dole out to towns and maybe they feel like because of our, all the ARPA money people are using some of that I don't know we we did get something um, from the mass um, Board of Selectmen Association or whatever yeah I probably have the letters wrong um, where they they were sending something to all the leg mm -hmm. state legislators yeah. on that topic to to, to up it right. so um, right so, so it was going to all the different um, state senators and yeah. representatives. I wonder if it is though that that we're seeing that but, that little ripple it, yeah, because of be yeah. because when people weren't remember right. there was a time very recently when gas was very cheap right mm -hmm. and it's going to remember be, yeah yeah and it's going to be down cool. and the cost of asphalt is going to be high and so how much we it's, can actually i know it's kind use. of a double whammy right. yeah right so anyway right. sorry that's no good question <sighs> um on that. so article four again is one that's on here all the time it's to um Pay, previous years. Pray, pay, pay any previous invoices that that may have been um, outstanding. Right. Um, those are ultimately itemized on the on the mm -hmm. motions, correct? Yes. Um, and they're usually fairly we small. We're at a thousand fifty-five dollars. Yeah, it's usually pretty years. small stuff. Yes. Okay. Um, article. The next article is um, to appropriate money because of the um, snow and ice budget, which also has if, to happen If, the, if each there's year. a decision to, to fund that through an article. Yeah, last year we Or it can come off we the recap sheet. Right? Yeah, we split it last year. We right. funded some of it through an article we'll and then see. the rest well. on the tax. Uh, so the next article would amend Article 22 of the May 11th, 2021 town meeting that has to do with the um, water and sewer project um, and the um pumping station so that. yeah this is a conversation that we have had with the engineer and dpw director and legal counsel um actually he hasn't reviewed these articles yet he okay. will okay. the town council will be so, so but that's not a financial article no it's not it's not a it's not a financial article it's to so move all what we, it's to it's to have the engineering and construction folks move as far south mm -hmm. as they can with yeah. with the work the landscaping the, the and at yeah the, and the landscaping um, around the pump station yeah near the pump it's, station probably isn't it really is trying to it's a legal, mitigate this whole situation right. around mm -hmm. the pending litigation yes right with the very property right okay nicely put yeah i'm yeah. just gonna say that <laughs> the next article is the budget um the next article, capital, no, capital, no capital improvement. Uh, oh yeah, the next, uh, the, that's the waste sewer. Water. So that's the way. Oh, the first one is the wastewater. I saw, I, I saw twelve million, and I, waste okay, water. that is the, that is voting the project. Correct. The, the wastewater the vote. plant project. Okay. That's the debt exclusion. Yes, right. that triggers the debt exclusion on the ballot. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, the next one is. Um, we're now getting into the capital planning articles. This is the next one is that lease. So yes, I was um, notified that we may have um, a five year lease and anything in excess of three years has to be voted. Okay. Um, okay. Town meeting. So I plugged that in as a placeholder. And then the following are just, you know, there for the, the, the various whatever capital planning projects. Because there's, are you know, we still haven't made some decisions about how certain things are funded. So right. those are placeholders. Yep. Um, next is um, CPA. CPA, the the article about right. um, appropriating CPA funds. Right. The first one is to d amend the uh, last year, twenty the last yeah. year, right? Okay. Because DOR had pointed that out to us when we were balancing the uh, balancing. We do that every year, though. Um, we used to. We haven't done it in a while. Um, so really? maybe, yeah, maybe we do need to. Yeah, we haven't. I thought we always fixed the prior year. We this have year. in previous years, but we um, not as recent as the last two years, anyway. Okay. Yeah. And then move the revenues around like we always do. Yep. 
Yeah, in, because in, these in numbers are estimates. CPA. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. So the right. next one is is the the budget yep. for it's the fiscal year twenty twenty three. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. And then there's the the listing of the CPA articles. Um, one is eleven thousand um, dollars for the inventory um, of the historic the historical museum collection. Ten thousand dollars, which would be to um, build baseball field dugouts at Smith Academy. Um, one that doesn't have a yeah, they're going to be meeting yet. this mm -hmm. week to and that yeah, they're meeting. CPA is meeting tomorrow night yeah. or CP. We're going to finalize um, some of these that don't have a figure. This is to create some walking paths at Smith Academy. Um, obviously, there'll be more education around what these projects really entail. Um, now, this one is, is this additional money for Smith Academy Park? Yes. What? Which one? The next article. I thought we were re-voting. Top, oh, re top of page six. Isn't that the bridge? No. no, no. It says Smith we took Academy that Park. off. The bridge has come off. The article for the bridge has come a, off the warrant. I have an old one then. Oh. I must have an old one. Mine says the Prospect there. Court oh. Bridge. Oh, okay. You must have an old hmm. version. That's off. So the next one is the pavilion at Smith Academy Park. But I thought we were going to go back to the drawing board and not appropriate more money than this for this. They were going to look at. Right, they're going to, we're rebid, we're putting it out to bid, um, rebidding the pavilion. Um, they still don't anticipate having sufficient funds, though. But I thought we talked about, I mean, this is like, weren't we going to look at more of like a, a place like a Skips or a barnyard or something right. like we, that? We talked because, about that, too, and I've had conversations with, with the open space chair. I mean, because you'd be getting up in the... the Three four hundred thousand right. dollar range for a based on my conversation with the chair from Open Space, the Open Space Committee doesn't want to do that. They want to, you know, okay, build the design that the architect has. So come up with. didn't we didn't we appropriate money last year? There's, There's been a lot of money. There was money appropriated, and it wasn't so enough. This, so this is an addition. Yes. yes. Yeah. That's a lot more in addition. Oh, the the yes. bids the bids had come in. It was. They had doubled $150,000 to build yeah. a pavilion. Yeah. Initially, they were estimating, I think, around $190,000. Yeah. 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 Up to higher. townspeople to decide. Okay, so then there's the, um, there's no dollar amount in here yet, but this is the project um, that they came, uh, Bob Wagner came and talked about at the Jericho Road. Um, mm -hmm. with um, some land preservation, the building of, what, two um, affordable, or, affordable or, housing mm -hmm. homes, and then um, some, I think, some yeah. paths, recreation they were paths. getting They were going to get an appraisal, which they have, and so there's been some discussion back and forth and, um, and between they'll have to open present this project right. To, right. to townspeople. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, and then the, I'm sorry, so I lumped two projects, I lumped the this together, it's two projects, the, but it's yeah. the same, same parcel of land. Yeah. Okay, the next one again, customary, it's the revolving funds um, article. Um, next is, the budget. that's the budget. The budget. Um, and then next is, is the um, article about Luminarium, which we need to have some discussion on ahead of time mm -hmm. to make sure we're doing this right and so that townspeople understand what we're trying to do so that they can know if they support it or not. But there'll be more discussion on that. That has to do with identifying which night it is or how i mean my feeling is we should just rescind the old article that that hatfield we, we we as a town should just be silent on the event because we don't manage the event anymore it's not a town event um but that's for discussion i guess with the people that are going to be who manages it now well used to be the hba right mm -hmm. it was the hba i mean the last couple years it's been the 350th. Oh, the 350th the the fire department has a role in you know yeah. in 
you know, they, they help with the, obviously, the fireworks when we were having those, and then they open up the station. And so there's a, so there needs to be some discussion. But it isn't a town sponsored event it, anymore. It's like all it by volunteers. It Absolutely. is all by volunteers. And, um, and even, I think, what the, well, I, I, I don't want to speak to this, but I don't know if it's the Firemen's Association or Fire Association Fire that does it. Yes. Or if it's the actual fire department. So we need to have some discussion, and, and I, th I think that there's an argument for just rescinding the article. Not, it just, in other words, our, our town meeting, our bylaws, anything like that won't speak to the event. It doesn't. Well, I, may I? Just so, so what the article states now is it will always be the Sunday before Christmas Eve. That's what the old article. That, yes, that, that, it wasn't, yes, that's, and, and that's it was what I mean just when you talk about recent, It was just a, it was a kind of a proclamation. Right. So that it's kind of a gray area, I guess. Yep. And this this one, the way it's written up now, says it would be the Saturday. Is that right? That's what this I is read. Just the rescinding. This is to rescind well, what was actually voted. Okay. okay. Right. With no other action. Right. right. Okay. Again, not a not a not a financial article, <laughs> so we don't need to tie these guys up with it. And then the last article is just the customary um, giving people an opportunity to report on anything. Are we going to be back meeting in Smith Academy? I would hope so. Yes. The town meeting, you mean? I think yeah. we could. Yeah, yeah because, I mean, that's... I mean, we've been so lucky with the weather down there, but, you know. I've talked with, with Joe LaValle and, and Lydia, and both of them are comfortable with having it in Smith yeah. Academy. That's awesome. Yeah. It was nice, but you know we're bound to get a, just a terrible night down there, and that would just be awful. So, um, Marlene, what's in the signature? Oh, um, I. Okay, it's just we don't need votes on these. Okay. So that's the warrant article in its quickest run through. Um, we'll obviously have more discussion about it. So next week we will do the collector treasurer and collector that's the treasurer. last department department mm -hmm. that we need to check with right and then so hopefully then we will have a good look at what the spreadsheet looks mm -hmm. like at mm -hmm. that time mm -hmm. we need to then also come up with a good idea of what we're going to do, you know, decide on some, I know we've talked a lot about capital, but we need to talk about capital and how we're going to, how we're going to fund some of that, whether it's ARPA or free cash or whatever. Um, right? What, else, mm -hmm. what am I missing? I think that's about yeah. it. That, Got to start the conversation that should and keep get us, us rolling. Busy, um, <laughs> and then final decisions could be made on the twelfth, so that everything could get to Lydia. Oh no, it has to be to Lydia by the twelfth. She needs the ballot question by the twelfth. And let's see budget. Let's let's see what it looks like next week. And you know, I mean, I don't. We, the, the last has thing to be... I think we should do is is rush anything, and if if it looks like we're going to need to yeah. go in this general direction, then you know we might just have to have a special yeah. election and special meeting or whatever. I, I don't I don't know. You yeah, know. I think there may just be too many unknowns. April twenty sixth is uh, no later than April 26th, the warrant has to be signed. Has and then signed. also yeah. have finalizing town budget April 6th, yeah. by April 26th. April 26th, okay. Yeah. Okay, I, mean, we, I, I will not be here next week. I, okay. You know, Daryl, what you're- I hope I, you're gonna be somewhere warm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that, um, well, we'll know more next week. I, I'm just trying to think out loud a little bit. I, I think it could be that we go through the budget and do what we can, mm. um, but the prelim, preliminary numbers of uh, expenses and income are off. So it, it could be we've got to do what we've got to do to get to town meeting and do the best yeah. we can and then say here to the town's people, here's, here's what's left or here's yeah. what else is necessary and then do that special meeting in the fall or, or whenever. And, and election yeah. ballot. Right. So 
Is yes. there an election I, I in November <laughs> of some sort? Yeah. Will there be yeah. a ballot? I mean, it's a governor's race. And Oh yeah, so, so so we could do something in November. Is there a, is there a primary and there could be a primary in, in September, maybe? Yeah. 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 So, yeah, yeah. There's there's options. Well, you know, I'm just there's a lot more time for us to really let townspeople know what it is we're asking for because, right. you know, they we we don't want it to seem too rushed and people to not understand, you know, what we're asking for or the reasons why. If if we even have to do it. Right. Right. You have to find out. I mean, it's just in fairness to, to residents to make sure that, you know, we're not rushing things and because it's not a decision any of us will make lately. And, and, and I do think it's probably important to Marlene to let all the department heads, school, et cetera, know that we will start this discussion next week because everybody's going to need to know. <laughs> you know keep on top of what might happen to their budget right yeah because tonight we we saw the assessors and they were one of the few budgets that was level funded, level funded yeah. Yeah. one so. of the few larger size ones I mean, yeah a lot of small ones yeah so most of that. most of the bigger budgets are all you know and and no judgment for me well, Thanks. most of it was just very reasonable increases Absolutely. that were, in most cases, unavoidable, yeah. you know, utilities or... And, and it, it's what I would call, and I hope I'm being fair, it's, it's almost a level services budget that they were re requiring. You know, it wasn't, there was maybe a couple of hires here and there, but... Well, there's a significant difference in the fire department budget yes. in that, but the rest of them are pretty... Right, right, and and the fire department is is going to be tough because the discussion needs to be. So if we don't do that, you know, how do we go forward providing ambulance service what and residents expect to yeah. be response? <laughs> yeah, right. And what we would like to provide yes. to residents in yeah. their time of need. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So. Ed. Ed, I just want to make sure you're good. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Good. All right. Well okay. Then. We can be done. We can be done. It's okay. It's okay to end. You at guys 7, okay 10. to be done? <laughs> well, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Or do we still have other things we have to take care of? No, I it. don't believe okay, so. Okay, I'll make nope, a motion nope. to adjourn. Second. I'll second it. Oh, sorry. Ed seconded it. Okay. Um, all those in favor, John aye. seconded it. All in favor, aye. 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 Okay. Thank you, John. Thank right. you, John. Finance thank you. Committee. Thank you.